okay? Now, I don't know if some of you guys even remember or not, but I'm gonna say this habitually. Um, so when we look at an equation, okay, there's a left side of the equal sign and a right side of the equal sign, okay? So letters, anything with a letter always goes on the left and anything with a number, just a plain number, always is gonna go on the right. Okay, now, can you do it opposite way or something like that? Yeah, you can, but then when we move to inequalities, it's coming right up and it doesn't make sense. So, okay, so um, I always do letters on the left. So, negative 1n, is that a letter or a number? Yeah, it's a letter because it has a letter in it, okay? And letters stay on the left. And positive 1, okay, that's a number. So, how do I move a plus 1? Minus 1. Okay, and if I do it to one side, I gotta do it to the other side. But does it go under the three or under the two end? Under the three. Okay, so I got negative one n equals two minus two n. Okay, the one n we already know if that's a letter, okay? So it stays on the left. The two, is that a letter or a number? Okay, it's just a number. So we can say minus two, or no, well, I'm tripping. Okay, the two n needs to be moved, I'm sorry. So because it has a letter, so we're gonna say plus two n, plus two n. Okay, so I got a one n equals two. Okay, if you feel like that you need to divide by that one, you totally can. However, n and 1n are the same, are they not? x and 1x are the same. Okay, so you just end up with n equals 2. Okay. Okay, look at number three. Okay, what's the first thing we need to do? Distribute. Distribute, okay? So, some of you guys that need some steps, okay, our first step is always gonna be to distribute. Okay, so eight times eight is gonna be 64, and then eight times eight X is gonna be plus eight X. Then I got this plus three X, 40 plus 5x. Okay, your next step on these, always, always, that you're going to check, okay, is going to be to combine. Like terms. Okay, so what can we combine? The 8 and the 3. So I got 64 plus 11x equals 40 plus 5x. Okay, your next step on all of these is going to be letters to left and then numbers to the right. Okay, so 64, is that a letter or a number? That's a number, so it needs moved, okay? So I'm gonna say minus 64, and which number does it go under over here? Um, 40. Under the 40, so minus 64. Uh, negative 24 plus five X. Okay, 11x, is that a letter or a number? That's a number. It's a letter and it's on the left side of the equal sign. 24, letter or a number? Uh, that's a number. Number, so it needs move, so, or no, it doesn't. It doesn't need move because it's on the right. Okay, uh, 5x, it's a letter or a number? That's a letter. It's a letter, so we need to move it. So what do I need to do? Subtract 5. Subtract 5x, subtract 5x. Okay, so you got 6x equals negative 24. Okay, what's our last step always? Subtract. 
advance. Divide both sides by 6. x equals negative 4. Did you need to know that number 1 was negative 4? Number 1? I don't know. You said 3? 2. 2, yeah. I didn't know that you were getting at it. I thought you just meant when you had a pencil. Okay, let's look at um, number five. Okay, what's our first step always? Distribute. distribute. What are we going to be distributing? The negative three. Okay, so all this other stuff you can go ahead and copy down. Negative 34 minus, and instead of P, what else could I write? One, one P. Okay, so I'm going to say one P equals um, negative 9p and then a plus 15 and I got a minus 1. Okay, what's our second step? Combine. Combine. Okay, what can we combine? The 1 and the 9. No. Thirty four and fifteen. No. Uh, fifteen and one. The fifteen and the one. Okay, so on all these, ideally you should have two terms on one side of the equal sign and two terms on the other side of the equal sign. So pick whichever side is gonna have more than two terms, and that's what you know you need to condense. Okay, so the fifteen and the one is gonna give me a what? Numbers to the right. So minus 34, is that a letter or a number? That's a number. Number. So does it need moved? Yes. Yes. It needs to go to the right side. So plus 34. And which one does it go under? Um, the 14. So plus 34. So I got negative 1p equals negative 9p, 48. Okay, what else needs moved? What is not on the right side where it belongs? Okay, look at them. What's a letter? What's a number? Are they on the left side or the right oh, side? The nine. Good 
Nah, okay. Um, okay, what do we need to move? The nine. The nine. Okay, so I'm gonna say plus nine. Plus nine. Okay, so over here I'm gonna have eight P equals forty-eight. And what's my last step always? Divide by eight. P equals six. 